Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you all are doing fine. See, we are, let's continue with our chapter. Yesterday we studied about uh, what are the different categories of animal as per their eating habits, herbivores, carnivores, and so many more. Now we are going to see today in today's class how animals feed. Children, as per the food habit of the animals, their mouth structure is being designed. Okay, it is being designed as per their food habits. Like uh, dogs eat, they can chew, so they have the teeth. Okay, now when it comes to frog, they don't have teeth, but they have long tongue, and so they swallow their food. Okay, mosquitoes they suck blood. So they don't have teeth, they just have a uh, hollow uh, pin-like structure on their uh, mouth. So they just poke in, they suck the blood, correct? So as per that way, let's see how the animals are categorized. Some animals suck, the, some animals chew, some animals gnaw. Gnawing, have you seen rabbit eating? It takes the help of the two long teeth, it, it just breaks the nut and then it eats it, correct? So let's just see in this class, what are the different feeding habits of the animals? Yes. How animals feed? Children, as I said, different animals eat different types of food. Correct? See here, dog eats in a different way, cat eats in a different way, that way. As per the manners of eating, of, as, as per the manners of eating in their different Food, their mouth is also modified to suit the more, mode of eating. So here you can see how the crocodiles are having, how the birds is having. So the way, what kind of food they eat it, their mouth is like that. Some animals swallow their food. They just swallow their food. For example, snake, it doesn't have, see, you can see the picture, it doesn't have any teeth or the, if they have teeth also, it is you know, very small teeth they have. So what do they do? They swallow the food. See how it is swallowing now? Birds have no teeth, correct? Have you seen birds having teeth? They swallow their food as a whole. They swallow it as soon as they take a food grain or something. They just swallow it up. Swallow is something which does not require chewing. We, chew, we have teeth, right? We take a piece of food, we, we keep in the mouth, we chew it, and then we swallow it that way. Lizards and snakes have very small teeth. They are not useful for chewing. You can see in the picture, children, they don't have any small, so they swallow. What they do is they have, they just grab their food, okay, and they swallow the whole food. And the food gets digested in the stomach. Snakes, they eat mice and frogs. Snakes can separate out their jaws to open their mouth wide. They can just keep their mouth wide, which helps them to swallow their food prey bigger than their mouth, okay? They just open it, they grab it, and they push the prey inside their stomach. They don't need teeth for chewing it. They eat lots of uh, snakes, usually eat mice and frogs. Yes, children, we saw, see how the animals swallow one kind of, one type of food feeding habit is swallowing. Now let's just see to the next one. Yes, some animals use their tongue to catch food. Yes, see here you can see a frog. It has shooted its tongue outside and food on which it shoots its tongue gets sticked on the tongue. Actually, so children, frogs, lizards, they have a sticky tongue, okay? Their tongue is very sticky. You keep, if any insect, okay, sticks to their tongue, it cannot move because of the glueiness on their tongue. So frogs and lizards have long and sticky tongue. I will show you how, in a, in a, after the video, I'll just show you how 
frogs they just shoot up their tongue outside and they have a long see imagine a uh, insect is sitting on the wall at a distance and lit from far distance also like not too far at a distance of the length of the tongue lizards can say and at within fraction of second they can just shoot out their tongue they and eat their prey insects insects will not even understand what has happened in minutes of seconds because they all have already they would have already sticked to their tongue like here now second thing we saw about sticky tongues first thing we saw about what did we see yes we saw about swallowing then second thing we saw about sticky tongue now let's just see how some animals they crush their grains birds also swallow some stones along with their food stones help in help in crushing the grains they eat it some animals tear grind and chew their food like example tigers yes example lion tigers they have sharp pointed and curved front teeth you can see see how the lion is having the teeth they are strong pointed and they are curved front teeth have strong grinding grinding teeth at the back to chew their flesh with the teeth in the behind can you see here on the tiger they have those grinding teeth with that whatever they have the flesh they have tear they eat it they chew it and they swallow it that's why the teeth are very strong for the tigers and lions and once they catch their prey nobody can just move it off crocodiles alligators have a large mouth they have they have large sharp pointed teeth they snap at the animals which come to drink water they just open their mouth and they just snap at them they just catch with them and with the large sharp pointed teeth it becomes difficult for the other animals whom they have caught to move anywhere see children how the animals have different styles of mouth as per the food habits they eat it that's why crocodiles eat a lot of fishes teeth have pointed jaws help them to grab even bigger animals and tear their flesh see for them if they can eat the bigger animals than them also some animals wait a second some animals chew and swallow their food they chew and swallow as i said you herbivores like deer giraffe eat grass and leaves they have broad flat and sharp front teeth to cut their food see these kind of animals they eat mostly grass and leaves so what they do is with the help of front teeth okay they cut the food they cut the they just cut the leaves from the plant and with the broad teeth they start chewing it one example is cow you might have seen cow always moving its mouth right it keeps chewing it yes they just eat it and keep chewing it until it is broken into small pieces see i said cow and buffaloes bite the grass and swallow it later they bring back the food into the mouth and chew it slowly this is called as chew the cud cut chew the cud see children here what happens is here what is happening with the cud you know one speciality of cows and camels is also there what do they do okay they go out for okay they go out in the farms to eat food so at once they what they do they eat lots of grass okay like over it and what happens that will not directly go into their stomach what they do this cow and all they eat a lot and that particular food which they eat they go that get into a different bag in their body okay and they don't chew it properly see to eat so much of plant so much of grass when they go out for uh, eating it is not possible you have to chew properly for digestion right 
so in that way as per their body structure it is very difficult for them to eat so much together so what they do is they just eat it keep it in a bag in their in their body not a separate they have a separate uh, portion in their body where this food goes and stores thereafter they when they come home when they are sitting relaxedly they bring that food part from their body inside to the mouth and they start chewing it properly and send it to the stomach this is called as chew the cud c u d c u d cud okay chewing the cud so whenever they get uh, relaxed time that time they sit properly they chew it properly and then it goes to their stomach so that's the reason see children that's the reason i don't know how many of you have watched it or next time when you watch a cow to some place if they are sitting they keep moving their foot but they uh, their mouth but there will be no food without any food nearby what they would have eaten that they keep moving their move, mouth and they actually what they would do wherever they go they as i said you they store some they store that food material in their body in not in stomach other part of the uh, stomach from there they bring it back it comes you know food comes from that bag to the neck and to the mouth and then they just chew it properly and then they swallow it which goes to the stomach yes children we saw swallowing we saw tearing then we saw chewing the cud with the help of broad teeth so for today only this much the next few feeding habits we will see in the tomorrow's class